Yo, what's up guys? Your boy Night Storm here. Welcome back to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So, um, you know, due to the aftermath of my Moxie summons for her as well as her weapons. Don't buy anything you don't need. Well, because of that, if you go to the circulation hub and go to the uh selected rewards, um, it's about this, the reward code. So this is the thing that you get while you pull um, on the banners, right? And as you can see, I've accumulated more than enough to purchase one of the 10 weapons, uh, one of the 10 standard weapons. Um, just to, you know, just to prove it. Uh, if you go to the standard banner list, if you count here from top to bottom, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. So it's basically a selector between the 10 standard weapons. Don't buy anything you don't need, all right? And so the purpose of this video is essentially um, I'm going to be making a quote unquote tier list with these 10 weapons. So the Stardust Memory, the 100 Battle Veteran, Olympus, Horn of the Orca, Space Cowboy, Sonny Payback, Tiny Grains, Star Ocean, Trials Eve, and Lava Bones. So we're going to be going through the 10 um, in the same order that the game has given us utilizing this tier list that I have, you know, created for all of you. So I've got all the weapons here, actually, as you can see, you know, I, I've got this weapon here down here. I I'm, I just don't have that much space currently. So I, I did it to, I called it the most worth getting tier list. And then I've got the uh, the currency that's going to be used to purchase these things. And then we've got the uh, four ranks, best, solid, good, and it's okay. You know, pretty straightforward stuff. So, first things first, let's take a look at Stardust Memory. So, in the Archives section, we have this very neat feature called the uh, Weapon Collection in Archives. And we're just going to be utilizing this. So, first things first, Stardust Memory. So, whose weapon is this? Well, this is uh, Life Wild Hunt, who is a 5 star operative. This is her basically best in slot weapon as clearly states from the passive of this weapon increases frost damage by 18 percent period gains six stacks of icing star after using standard skill and gains one stack of icing star when standard skill deals damage pull down 0.2 seconds this is per hit each stack of Icing Star increases standard skill damage by 3% for 3 seconds, max 12 stacks, and Icing Star stacks will be cleared after using standard skill. So, what this means is, after the standard skill ends, you lose the stacks. So, since you always start with 6, you just need to hit the enemy um, 6 times. And... You, and knowing Wild Hunt's, you know, skill set, she can definitely utilize and maximize this passive very early on just for that free damage. And obviously at max level, this nearly dub this nearly doubles to 30% frost damage. And it's 5% for 3 seconds, max 12 stacks. So you go from 18% with um 36% to 30% with 60%. So, you know, pretty nice stuff, nearly doubling the effectiveness after one dupe. So, um, her substat also here, I mean, the substat this open is attack, 42% attack. So, you know, very nice. So, um, just to make it fair, um, I'm not sure where to put Stardust Memory first, but I think for the time being, I will put it in solid. Um, reason being, um, I put it in solid because... Wild Hunt herself is very strong, so getting this weapon will definitely enhance her effectiveness that much further. But I didn't put her at best, I didn't put Stardust Memory at best because she doesn't actually need it, right? And that's pretty much it. So now let's move on to the 100 Battle Veteran, which is a another sub machine gun, if I can find it. There you go, 100 Battle Veteran. Chaos Damage. 
Um, honestly, I don't know who's this for. Um, let me just quickly take a look at the operatives that I have here. Um, it's not Sherno because no, okay. So Sherno does have chaos damage. However, the kit doesn't benefit Sherno at all. Right? It it, it doesn't really. It doesn't really help. So from the looks of it, I don't think this weapon has an actual owner. But let's go ahead and review it anyway. Oh, sorry. So, Battle Veteran. Attack 18% ballistic damage increases as the number of bullets left decreases up to a maximum boost of 42%. Which goes to 30% attack and 70% boost. Well... Um, it has a nice attack boost. It's a submachine gun. Chaos damage. Chernobyl can't even use it. So, unfortunately in the tier list, for now, for the time being, I'll put it on It's Okay. Because there's nothing, there's not, there's no one that can really use it. And there's no effective chaos damage dealers that actually benefit from the passive. So we'll just put that there. All right, next up, it's Olympus. And this is everyone's first five-star weapon, unless you wailed before getting this. This is the weapon that you get for free, and it's for the four-star Healer Yao. And the passive here is Zenith Star, increase attack by 18%, and then you gain one stack when you hit a weak spot. There's no cooldown for this one, so as long as you get five weak spot hits, that's five stacks. And then whenever you use... Whenever an operative uses a skill, the stacks will be consumed and the operative the lowest HP will be healed for 4.8% of the user's weapon's attack multiplied by the stacks. In this case, we'll just round it up to 25% of attack into healing. And at max level, you get 30% attack and then it goes to 40% of the weapon attack as healing. So overall, it's a decent weapon. But at the same time, you get it for free. And so this also goes to actually this goes in its own tier. Um, right here. There you go. Um, I, I didn't wanna, you know, do do it right off the bat, but here you go. D rank. You already have it. Okay, uh to save some time, let's now move on to the next weapon, which is the horn of the orca. So this is a very famous weapon considering I've gotten this basically at the start because I failed the 50-50 trying to get um, Space Cowboy. This is Marion Swift, 5 star operative. This is her best in slot weapon. Increases crit damage amplifier by 21% and increases standard ballistic damage by 4% period. Also replenishes one bullet when a standard shot hits a target. So this is solely based on Marion Swift's kit. So if you get this weapon and you don't have Marion Swift, like me, I basically found this weapon useless. Only useful for her, for the level 50 attachment that you get, which increases a bit of attack. And then at max level, this is 35% to 20%. Again, same niche. So, uh, I'm in a bit of a bind on this one. I think I'm going to put this right here in between solid and good. Main reason being is if you have Marion Swift and you are planning on using her, this weapon will definitely benefit her a lot. But of course, you need to invest in Marion Swift herself, trying to get those juicy manifestations. Otherwise, it's not really the best. Actually, it's on good and okay. That's mainly because you require a lot of investment. Actually, well, you require a lot of investment for the other characters as well. So I'll just put it here. Because some are, some weapons are just more worth getting. Okay, moving on. Let's you know speed things up. The next weapon oh is Space Cowboy. So this is a weapon that I did pull for for um, Yao Winter Solstice, another five star operative, and it's pretty straightforward. Increases thermal damage, and then after reloading bullets, which is part of her gimmick, you know the standard skill. Increases ballistic damage of the next shot by 60%. Which goes up to 30% and 100% damage. 
So you basically double damage with a second Jew. So um, with Yao, I definitely enjoy using her. Um, it's just that when it comes to fighting against multiple enemies, um, depending on your skill level, uh, she might become a bit more difficult to use. However, in my opinion, if you don't have it yet and you have Yao, this is probably going to be your best choice as it amplifies Yao's damage so much. Especially once you get her manifestations up and you're permanently in the ultimate form. Okay, next up we have Sunny Payback. So, uh, Sunny Payback is 5 star Fenny Coronet's uh, 5 star weapon. This is basically, this is her BIS essentially. And it's a pretty straightforward passive as well. It increases electrical damage by 18%. Each shot has a 60% chance to fire extra one pellet. So you can think of it like the electric version of the Space Cowboy passive. And then at max level, again, similar deal, 30%, 100%. Right? 30%, 100%. 30%, 100%. 30 so, you know, it's kind of like the shotgun version of Yao Space Cowboy. But it's not as good as you would imagine but um considering funny coronet's kit she can utilize this passive relatively nicely however um like the usual um she doesn't actually need it as much as yao does her weapon and in general she doesn't actually uh fanny i mean yeah fanny doesn't really need the weapon in the first place you can make do with other weapons already she is mainly there for like very nice support capabilities as well, but you can do a lot of damage without needing Sunny Payback anyway. So I'll put this again on the same tier as Horn of the Orca. So next up we have Tiny Grains. Um, Tiny Grains. I'm not. I don't really recall who uses Tiny Grains. Um, it is it's kinetic damage. Oh. Well, um, we have a few options when it comes to this um, shotgun. We either have 4-star Fenny or 4-star Nita. Both of these characters are kinetic damage, but I'm not sure who would benefit from either of these. But, you know, that's just a shout. There's no 5-star operative that can utilize this weapon just yet, just to let you know. But in any case, let's go take a look. So Tiny Grains. Increase attack by 18%. After taking damage, decreases the movement speed of enemies' targets within 5 meters by 50%. And increases the damage taken by 9.6%. Lasts for 3 seconds. Now, I guess you can also use this on... On Cirrus. But, um, you kind of want to get something that increases her max HP. Because she's mainly used for supporting... No, just to keep in mind. But yeah, just another shout there. So overall, it's an offensive weapon. Um, taking damage. Something maybe Nita and Fenny can do. The 4-star version. Um, increase damage taken. But considering you need to get hit. Well, you need to take damage. It's that's different to, take, to getting hit, right? Maybe it still counts if you have a barrier. But yeah. When it comes to more difficult enemies, you kind of don't want to get hit. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to rate this a little lower. But not that low. It's better than Battle Veteran, right? So, I'll put it on good. There you go. Very nice. Okay, we have three more weapons left. As you can see, we have Star Ocean, Trials Eve, and Love Bones. All of these having a character um, aligned to them. So, first off, we have Star Ocean. So, Star Ocean. This is 4-star Haru's weapon. However, this can also be used by 5-star Haru, assuming you don't have her 5-star weapon. Um, and it might be a better alternative to the 4-star weapon. Just keep in mind that this is a 6 ammo capacity gun, meaning it shoots kind of more like a deagle than the auto-shooting um, guns. Or the semi-auto semi -auto guns. In any case, Increases skill damage by 21%. Very nice for 5 star Haru, for example. When an active skill hits a target, so active skill means it can either be standard, support, or ultimate. 
any of those three counts as an active skill. When it deals kinetic damage, oh no, yeah, when it hits, it deals kinetic damage equal to 9% of the user's attack every half a second, lasts for 3 seconds, and repeat hits will reset the duration. So as you can see, just by going through skill damage alone, it does work nicely with 5 star Haru, just keep in mind of the low fire rate. Uh, being able, being unable to utilize Haru's um, S energy regen and cooldown passive um, because it shoots slower. So overall, um, four star Haru herself. Unfortunately, I don't really have that much experience using four star Haru, but five star Haru can actually make use of this. But at the same time, you can still live with the four star gun, the four star event gun. If I can uh, show it right here. Which I, which I have Haru equipped at the moment, the Buzzing Diffusal. Continuously use the same skill to gain the Hive effect, increasing attack by 10% for 5 seconds, max force attack. So 40% attack from this pistol, and it's free. So because of that, um, I believe that the Star Ocean will go into good. Good and so good between solid and good. Uh, probably down here because it's a limited character. Yeah, I'll put it in good. Yep, that's fine. I'll put it in good. Now, Trials Eve. So, Trials Eve is another potentially decent weapon. This is. 4 star Chen Xing, the healer Chen Xing's weapon, and as you can see right off the bat, very beneficial passive for her. Increases max HP by 18%, which is the stat used to determine how much healing she does on her support skill. So increase attack, as well as that, she increased the attack of operatives on the field by 12% for 5 seconds when any member is healed, taking complete advantage of Chen Xing's um, periodic healing from her support skill. The weapon wielder also obtains 1s energy. So this is Chen Xing herself if she has it equipped. The weapon wielder also obtains 1s energy with a cooldown of 5 seconds. So basically she gets some s energy back on top so you can you know activate her support skill as soon as possible without really worrying about her s energy running out. So Alignment index for the substat. Uh, sorry, I've, I've been missing about the alignment index stat here, but for the most part, we're mainly judging it based on the passive. The secondary stat is basically a bonus. That's why I haven't really been mentioning it. This goes up to 30% with 20%. And um, I guess I can quickly show Star Ocean's one because I kind of messed it up. It goes with 35%. 15% half a second, but yeah, no, that's not really that worth, but yeah, so this is Chen Xing's one. Um, unfortunately, however, I will put it on, it's okay. Now, reason being is, well, if you don't have some of these weapons up here, you're kind of worth, you're kind of better off not going not going for Trials Eve early, right? That's basic, basically the only reason, and Force of Chen Xing doesn't really need it. Um, it has nice support capabilities, of course. But I would probably work on getting better DPS on your main characters first. Now, last but not least, we have Lava Bones. So, Lava Bones is 5-star um, Frisha Hush. 5-star um, operative, by the way. This is her bestie, basically BIS weapon as well. And as you can see, right off the bat, increase ultimate skill damage by 27%, which is basically the core of Frisha Hush's uh, DPS output, output. And because of that, she's kind of locked behind manifestations, similar case to uh, Yao and um, Wild Hunt, but not as much as Frisha. Um, she kind of needs the manifestations as much as, let's say, um, Marion Swift, because a lot of their good kit is locked behind the dupes. But in any case, uh, outside of the increase in skill damage for ultimate skills, she also deals more damage to burned targets by 24%. And this is 
very easy because if you go to um, Frisha Hush, I'm pretty sure it burns. It burns the enemies as well. Um, lasting Flame. No, sorry, not, never mind. Um, okay, so I'm not really sure where the, the burning is. You know, m maybe this counts as burning, right? Maybe. Other than that, you might need burning support to utilize the passive, but I'm just going to assume that Frisha Hush herself can utilize the passive on her own. Uh, so we'll go with that logic. And with that, I will put this weapon on... On here. I'll, pro I'll probably do it like this. It's uh, between good and it's okay. That's mainly because, again, um, I don't think she needs it as much. I mean... You know what? I'll put it in here as well. I'll put it on good. Because it, it does benefit Frisha Hush as well at the same time. Okay. So. Uh, that's basically it for the tier list. Uh, let me. Okay, no, that's fine. So yeah, that's basically it for the tier list. Um, as you can see, we have... Hold on, I think I need to fix something. Um, uh, either way, uh, that's fine. So at D rank, obviously, uh, we have Olympus. Right, right here, Olympus at the bottom here. And then if you move to uh, C rank, we have the unknown, hold unknown owner, 400 battle veteran. And we have four star Chen Xing's Trials Eve. And then on the good rank, we have Tiny Greens, which is unknown, but it might either be Fenny uh, Lionheart or Nita's gun. And then we have Star Ocean, which is 4-star Haru's gun, but usable by 5-star Haru Lava Bones, which is used by 5-star um, Frisha Hush, but it could also be used for 4-star Frisha herself as well. And then in the between of good and solid, we have 5-star Merian Swift's Horn of the Orca and 5-star Fanny Coronet's Sunny Payback. And then at rank 8, the second best option in my opinion is Wild Hunt's uh, Life Wild Hunt's Stardust Memory. And then in my opinion, the best option for this, for at least these 10 weapons is Space cowboy so um if you got any comments in regards to you know your thoughts on this okay there you go i fixed it just now so if you have any thoughts or like your own you know your own opinions or your own thoughts when it comes to my you know most worth getting quote unquote tier list uh do let me know down in the comments below um i believe this is at like this is as um as unbiased as I can get, in my honest opinion. I mainly based it on their current worth, uh, who can utilize it, how much that character will benefit compared to not having the weapon, and, you know, use cases as well. You know, t uh, potential use cases and different scenarios. So hopefully this will help you out if you're one of those character, one of those people that managed to get um, uh, 480 of these to be able to buy them uh, in the shop right here for 480 but yeah um, in my case uh, I might save it for now because I'm kind of torn on either getting Stardust Memory or saving for space or get a second space cowboy and dupe it up um, I'm most likely going for Stardust Memory and then I'm not sure what I'm going to use my next one on. But yeah, so I'm probably going for Stardust Memory. But here is my tier list. 
It's been your boy Nitro Storm. If you've got any more questions in regards to Snowbreak Containment Zone or anything in general, do let me know down in the comments below. It's been your boy Nitro Storm. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.